My name is Colin Murphy and I'm an Applications Engineer with Javelin Technologies and welcome to my backyard. Now I've had a lot of fun times hanging out back here with family and friends but a lot of the time the conversation actually turns to be about these hooks. When we moved in some of the hooks were facing this way while others were facing this way instead. Now which way is correct? I've heard a lot of strong opinions on either side of this debate but one way has to be better than the others. Let's let the power of the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem settle the debate for us. Our goal is to test each orientation of the hanger, this way and this way, to see which way experiences less stress under an equal load. Step one, we'll complete a full 3D scan of the hook in order to generate a mesh file that represents the hook's size and shape. Step 2. Using this mesh file, we'll use the power of Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS mesh tools to generate a fully featured SOLIDWORKS model. Step 3. We'll run a linear static stress analysis on each orientation of the hook using consistent fixtures and loading. Step 4. After determining the orientation that results in the least stress, we can flip all the hangers to be in that orientation and finally end the debate. We begin with step one, completing a 3D scan of the hook. To do this, we'll use the Artex Space Spider. This scanner takes pictures at over seven frames per second to a 3D resolution of 0.1 millimeters, which should be perfect for our application. After completing multiple scans and fusing the results together, we are left with a mesh that can be exported in many different file formats. In this case, we'll export as an STL. Now that we have a mesh file of the hook, we move to step two, reverse engineering the scan. Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS is amazing for extracting surfaces and other information directly from the scan file. Since 2018, SOLIDWORKS has added great new functionality for extracting this information from the mesh as well. Combining these two tools and SOLIDWORKS surfacing and solid modeling, we're quickly able to create a highly accurate version of our part. Using this model, we're on to step three. This is where we can use a linear static simulation to evaluate our hook. We'll apply an appropriate material, fixtures, mesh refinement, and a five pound load applied to a small section near the end of the hook. We can copy the simulation to ensure identical material, fixtures, and mesh, and simply redefine our load to be in the opposite direction on the appropriate face. After running both studies, we're able to directly compare the results and see that when the hook is installed this way, the stress is noticeably less. So that's it. With the power of SOLIDWORKS, we were able to conclusively decide which way we should put these Mom, hooks. come here, please. My wife said she wanted them the other way. <laughs>